Hello there guys and welcome back to another video with myself, Furum. Now today I'm going to be showing you the component system. I'm going to give you a breakdown of it so you know what you're going to need, where you're going to want to go and all of that good stuff. I'm not going to ruin all the fun so I'm only going to give you the basic essentials that you need to get into this update. Now if you are unaware, as of tomorrow's update we will be moving away from the XP system and we will be going to the component system. The component system is more similar to the blueprint system we had previously, but not quite. You will be able to craft every single item when you start the game, but you will need components to craft some items. Most of the lower end items are still untouched, so you can create them at any time. So you can get your building print, you can get your tool cupboard, you can get your basic doors and you can get yourself a code lock and all of the usual stuff that you can. It only really affects you when you get to the higher end stuff. And these things, you're going to need components, you're going to need varying components, multiples of them, and these can be found all around the world. So I'm going to go through and break down every single component for you so that you know where you can get it, how rare it is, how much it will stack up to, and what you can be using it for. Now I'm not going to tell you every single thing that you can craft with it. I'm just going to give you a general outline. So if we jump in with the first component that I have for you guys. Which is the sewing kit. The sewing kit will stack to 20. It is a common item and you will find it in barrels. The sewing kit is going to be used for making armor and beds. Next up is rope. Now rope will stack to 50. It is a common item and you will be finding it in barrels. Rope's going to be used to craft ladders and armor. And then next up we have road signs. Road signs will stack to 20. They are an uncommon item and you can find them in barrels and in crates. Now you're going to be using road signs to craft yourself road sign armor and salvaged cleavers and then next up we have the propane tank it stacks up to five it is a common item and you will be finding it in barrels now you can use the propane tank to craft yourself a flamethrower or a water purifier and then next up we have gears now gears stack up to 20 they are an uncommon item and you can find them in barrels and in crates you're going to be using gears to craft doors, hatches, external gates, and quarries, among other things. And then next up, we have tarp. Now, tarp will stack to 20. It is a common item, and you will be finding it in barrels. You'll be using tarp to create water catchers and other things that hold water. And then next up, we have the metal blade. Now, this stacks up to 20. It is a common item and you will be finding it in barrels. The metal blade will be used for making salvaged axes and pickaxes, among other things. And then next, we have the metal spring. It will stack up to 20. It is an uncommon item and you will be finding it in barrels and crates. You'll be using the metal spring to craft yourself guns. And then next up, we have the metal pipe. This stacks up to 20, it is an uncommon item, and you'll be finding it in barrels and in crates. The metal pipe is used for crafting guns and rockets. And then next up, we have the rifle body. Now the rifle body stacks to 10, it is a rare item, and you will be finding it in crates. Now naturally, you will be using the rifle body to create rifles. And then next up, we have the SMG body. Now this stacks to 10. It is a rare item and it will be found in crates. You'll be using this to create the SMG. And then the last component that we have, guys, is tech trash. Now this stacks up to 20. It is a rare component and you will only be finding this in crates. Now you'll be using tech trash to create C4 and weapon attachments. So as you can see from me running through that list, you're going to be needing to go to areas where you have an abundance of crates and barrels to get your hands on these components, which is going to involve a lot of risk. But 
we have been blessed with something that is going to make your life slightly easier. Now we now have junk piles that will randomly spawn in the world. Anywhere and everywhere. So you'll be able to get yourself some crates and some barrels all across the world. Now currently it's slightly bugged. It's not rendering correctly in game. And you will see that the spawns are a lot higher than they will be once the update goes live tomorrow. But I'm going to quickly show you one in game. And then I have a picture of one with what it should correctly look like. So this here is what a junk pile will be like. You're going to have yourself a crate and a barrel or two. But as you can see the crates just float in and this is not how it's supposed to look. So here we have now in the middle of the screen a picture of how this will look when it renders correctly. So you're going to be blessed with these spawning all over the world and you will be able to get yourself some loot without getting into too much danger. And then this is the last thing that ties in with the component system that is going to make your life a hell of a lot better. Now this is called the Recycler. Now you can find these in any warehouse and in most monuments. If you just go and have a little look around you will be finding these. And what this will do is you can put in some wood to fuel it plus an item or component or any other stuff and it will break it down and give you back a percentage of what it would cost to craft that item or in the case of components it will give you like an item that would make sense for that item to be crafted from. So I'm just going to go ahead and quickly demonstrate this for you guys. So there with the hoodie, we've got back some cloth and we've also got ourselves a sewing kit. Now I'm going to throw in an AK. And then from the AK, we have got ourselves some high quality metal, some wood and some metal springs. Now if we were to throw in a tarp, That will give us some cloth. So as you can see, similar to what the item would typically be made of is what it's going to give you back in return. So now no longer are the items that you get from killing people, from raiding bases, the stuff that you normally don't want. It is no longer useless because you can come here and you can turn it into items that you can actually make use of. So that is everything from me today then guys. I hope this has been helpful and if it has make sure that you hit that like button and if you would like to see more content then make sure that you are subscribed. Also be sure to check my update video tomorrow just in case any of this stuff has been slightly tweaked or anything else nice is coming in the update. Naturally there will be a load of other things away from the component system. I just wanted to get this out for you early so that you know exactly what to expect and exactly what you need to be aiming for when you get in game. If you would like to go and test this then jump over onto the pre-release branch. If you don't know how to do that I will leave a link down in the description to my video that shows you how to change your rust branch. So that is all then guys. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.